South Africa's fastest growing political party, the Economic Freedom Fighters, is holding its national conference today. That's where it will elect its new leadership. And today was the day of the leader's political report. Julius Malema gave the political report reflecting on the past five years since the party was established because it's a very young party. EFF was only established um, in 2013 after Julius Malema and several of his allies were expelled from the African National Congress, which is the governing party here. But in, the, in, in, in 2013, that's where he formed the EFF. And today, it's one of the fastest growing political parties and in his political report he reflected on the challenges and the victories of the party because certainly the EFF as it's known here has changed the way people view politics. People are more interested in politics because it's a young vibrant party in South Africa's parliament where we've seen other unpleasant scenes where uh, members of the EFF who are in parliament had to be dragged out of parliament. That's when President Jacob Zuma was still in office and the EFF's drive to, to get President Jacob Zuma out of office because of his alleged corrupt behavior was one of their biggest missions. And they, 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 today they pat themselves, themselves on the back about that, saying that they are the ones who changed the face of politics in South Africa. And that is not untrue at all. But something that almost overshadowed today's proceedings is the banning of certain media outlets here in South Africa. The EFF is quite upset with certain media outlets that have been reporting and it's been groundbreaking report of allegations of corruption against EFF leader including uh, the CIC of the party commander-in-chief of the EFF Julius Malema and the EFF has defended its decision to exclude certain journalists from today's pro pro proceedings but then the South African National Editors Forum has reacted with with this content saying what the EFF has done is rather unconstitutional and the Delhi Maverick one of the outlets that's being left out of these, uh, this conference says it will go to court to, ch to challenge the EFF's decision to exclude them from the conference but President Julius Malema of the EFF in his political report said the party had the right to invite anybody they, they deemed fit to be in, in their events and he was unapologetic about the, the banning of those um, the banning of those journalists but we have another pay tv channel enca w one of the biggest here in south africa that has also decided not to broadcast the proceedings of the um, of the eff conference uh, in solidarity with those journalists who have been excluded from the conference but on sunday which is tomorrow it will be very interesting because that's when the eff chooses new leadership it's likely uh, julius malema will remain leader of the party but the other office bearers are more likely to change because there's been some contestation um, among um, among them but that remains to be seen only on sundays back to your studio